What's up guys, Evasion here and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I wanted to make a quick striker guide to help the players who are just getting level 50 maybe get into Chaos Dungeons, which is very easy content, but it can go significantly faster if you have a good build. So I'm just gonna share with you the build that I've been using and hopefully this will help you out and let's hop straight into it. Hop straight into the skills. We're gonna cover skills, stats, engravings and all that stuff. But first off the skills, um, I just have Storm Dragon Awakening at four. You just want this for mobility. You don't, you don't need to end up using this a whole lot in Chaos Dungeons. So if you're lacking points in any of these things that I don't have maxed out, then feel free to just skip them. Um, Swift Wind Kick, you want this maxed out. If you guys have seen my War Dancer guide, it's the same kind of skill. It's just as important. We have Fire Round Kick, Wide Hit, and Extreme Training. Basically, it just allows you to go around like a whirlwind and just destroy everything. Phoenix Advent, if you only have enough for four points here, that's fine too. But you just have Fierce Heat. Mostly we just use this for mobility to kind of skip over packs so we can group them up. Lightning Whisper, we have tripods two, uh, two and two here. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you a massive AOE damage around you. And the last talent here is really important. Uh, this is gonna make it like pretty much just one shot everything in a chaos dungeon when you pull a big pack. And it's also good because this thing gives you a buff as well. So any boss that may survive this will die from your next hit. Uh, going into uh, Esoteric Call the Wind God. I use this as well on the War Dancer. Uh, having tripods 3, 1, and 2 are going to make this a holdable massive whirlwind that's going to pull in everything around you. This skill is just as good as it is on War Dancer, but I would say it's a little bit less prioritized on the Striker because of the other uh, Esoteric skill that we have, which is Lightning Tiger Strike. And you can actually build this a couple different ways, but the way that I chose to go for these low entry level Chaos Dungeons is uh, Quick Prep, so low cooldown. You have Tenacity, so you have push immunity. You don't have to worry about getting interrupted as much. And the reason that's important is because with Charged Kick here, the last row, um, you want this to be able to charge for the full second so you don't get interrupted, and then it's going to demolish everything in its path. So the general strategy, it's kind of a gameplay tip, I guess, general strategy, you want to kind of group everything up and then just dash straight through them with this kick and everything will get one-shotted. It does massive damage. Um, so that pretty much covers the skills. I didn't actually cover Moonflash Kick. Moonflash Kick, almost forgot to cover this. This is an insert back in the video. White Flame Kick and Light Footed and Full Moon Kick. This is going to give you a fairly fast hitting kick that's going to give you a good amount of esoteric meter. If you're getting value out of this video, please be sure to give me a like. It helps the algorithm so much and it helps me out a lot. Thank you. Uh, the stats that I'm going for, I am going for specialization and a little bit of crit on the side. I actually have very well optimized stats for tier one entry level stuff, which I just leave myself at 302 for now because this is just an alt for me at the moment. And I'm just farming the daily chaos dungeons for extra materials. But you want that specialization and crit, especially if you choose to go with the death blow engraving. And um, a tip for this engraving, since when what this does is whenever you use a finishing move or an esoteric skill, it's going to take all of your orbs. So a problem you might run into is if you dump all your skills and overcap your orbs, and then you, it's not necessarily a waste in a raid scenario. But if you use all four orbs on a tornado that's only going to hit some of the mobs you need to kill, it's going to make your rotation feel slow and clunky. Where on a War Dancer, you don't have this issue because it's only going to take two orbs from you. So what you want to do is you really want to be sure that you're teeing up your esoteric skills as soon as you get over two orbs and before you hit three so that your rotation will feel more smooth. I think that this is really important for Chaos Dungeons. And in a raid scenario, you know, you can pop off those four orb abilities all you want because you have a lot more time where you need to dodge mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend doing this. And then for the last thing for this video, I just want to show a little example, I guess, of what's going on. And I'm just going to be running around the Chaos Dungeon here, and I'm going to leave this play. Look for, basically, I'm just trying to group up mobs, and I'm going to be building uh, Esoteric Meter with my Lightning Whisper and my Swift Wind Kick. Usually, I will try to split these up because they give a lot of meter. So you'll use one to go into either Tiger Strike or Call of the Wind God, depending on what the pack looks like. And then you can also use Moonflash Kick to uh, kind of get the extra little bit you're waiting for. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this for other classes, I do actually currently have five characters. I just boosted up a Soul Fist now as well. Um, I'm big into the martial arts classes and I've been enjoying my Deathblade on the side quite, uh, quite a bit as well. So please do like the video if you found this useful, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.